Uh, for... Congratulations, Levick. Thank you. Very well played. Very, very nicely played. You uh... textbook, I think, is what our casters. Yes, said. Uh, <laughs> that is. Uh, that's kind of they. They say that rarely. It, I think this is the second time this season that that has been uh, yeah. used. Uh, Flurry, uh, not happy with with the challenge pick. Still, a pretty respectable result. Yes. It, yeah. <laughs> it seems and good. Seems good. I had no idea what I was doing. I was just <laughs> winging it. And have it. you both heard what your next challenge is? Uh, yes. Yes. And yeah. Flurry, yeah. And you... I think it's freaked because uh, there's another challenge that I didn't practice much. <laughs> Uh, of course, <laughs> it happens. Well, uh, I mean, according according to Red Hawk, it takes about seven minutes to do this with Poland. <laughs> so you know, you can have a quick dry run <laughs> with Poland if you want at the start. But yeah, so just so we're clear, uh, dismantle the HRE with as small uh, a nation as possible, and that's of course uh, starting uh, starting Dev. Uh, they should not be in the HRE at at the start. Um, and you do get uh, several several attempts, uh, so make sure that you have uh, Discord and all of that stuff up open for you, so that you can get uh, Lath and Red Hawk, uh, respectively, into the game as soon as possible. Um, Flurry, how are you feeling about this challenge? Uh, really good, actually. Unless I I, I practice this one a bit, and I think. Unless Slavic wants to do something really funky, uh, I'm going to pick the smallest nation possible. But So I think well, it's going to come down to in-game time. Second I don't... Well. Second, you're going to... Okay. You're not going for free death, are you? <laughs> no, I'm not going for Yaz in, in Saudi Arabia, no. <laughs> so, Flory, are you going with, like, the safe? The safe no. one for now? No. Yeah, no, it's going safe before safe. for development. Yeah, for, for for development is my safe pick. Okay, well, I mean, uh, Slavic, do you think uh, do you think Flurry is actually going for that, or is he mind gaming? I think he's good enough to go and start with this. Our okay. our players would never play mind games with each other. Come on now, uh, that has Slavic definitely hasn't done that this season. No, that has <laughs> that has never happened before. Uh, but if you guys are ready, let's go give it to. Uh, yeah, oh, is yeah. it, is it Give your, it to our caster. Is it your favorite casters, or, we, or have we swapped them out already? No, they, they've got one more hour. Okay, well, <laughs> here they are. <laughs> they have the Good luck. Glory's POV right here. He has starting as the nation of Moonster over in Ireland. We can see that he has four devs, so that's Flory's starting nation for development. Moonster, not the one in HRE, the one in Ireland. This is who he is going to be attempting to dismantle the HRE with. And if we go over to Slavic's POV, we can see that he has started as... The Papal State. We see a 63 development nation. This is a good nation to start yeah. with because yeah. here's how you dismantle the HRE. If I hover over here, you need to be uh, in control of the current emperor's homeland, so their capital, at the same time as controlling mm -hmm. all of the capitals of everyone else. But yeah. if you ally all of them and bring them to war against Austria, that also yeah. counts. So if you can ally, which is why the Pope's a really, really good choice, because everyone wants to ally the Pope. If you ally all the electors, mm -hmm. bring them to war against the Pope, occupy Vienna, you can do it pretty quick. And I think that's what yeah. Zlevik is doing. Same strategy as he did last time in terms of getting a good score on the board, a respectable score of 63, and then going to go for a higher one yeah. than that. Yeah. Which yeah, last time it one. did work out for him, you know? Uh, Chewie yeah, did absolutely. manage to get a lower dev nation than him. So, you know, I think and he wasn't is going to get to succeed done. either. Yeah. Zlevik's going to get this done Ooh. as the Pope. Put a really, really good time on the board. I'm expecting, you know, maybe uh, two or three years in game time, something like that, depending on how fast you can really? get to Vienna. Of course, uh, chat, if you don't know, I did used to hold the record for the fastest HRE dismantle as Poland. <laughs> I think I did it about, uh, in about I don't know, I forgot, but it was less than a year. Uh, at this point, I think I'm third or fourth. Someone's done it better. But uh, of course, that's as Poland, right? So for Flory, it is going to be difficult getting uh, over here from Munster all the way to uh, Vienna, but of course he is a four dev nation. So, you know, Zlawik can do it in 1444 as the Pope. Flory can do it whenever as Munster, and of course if none of these guys do another run, Flory is going to win because he is doing it as the lower dev nation at the start. Now, so, to be clear, uh, yeah. we're not telling them what the other nation this person is playing as, neither of our players knows yeah. what the other one is doing. We're yep. only going to reveal it once a run is complete. 
if that makes yep. sense. Yeah. So we're not going to yep. say anything until, let's say, Flory completes it. I will then step in and tell Zlevik, hey, Flory's completed it um, as this yep. nation. Once Zlevik completes yep. it, I'll, I'll also put that in the Discord saying Zlevik has completed as the Papal State. If that makes sense, yep. to even things yep. up and make sure things are all good. Sure. So yeah. Well, yeah. chat, I hope you've uh, you've enjoyed us this season. Uh, let us know yeah. if you did. Don't uh, let us know. Don't let us know if you didn't. Uh, quite frankly, I don't care to read it. It's my final, yeah. <laughs> my final hour. No so, meme chat. I don't, no I don't meme this like time. Let us know if you've enjoyed us, huh? Come on. Fingers Let's crossed. get those egos up even pursue. more. <laughs> <laughs> As the story starts, oh, the first war versus Desmond and Kildare. Yeah, looking to expand a bit. Someone in please Ireland. tell me what happens if they both of them fail to dismantle the HRE. Uh, then we win. We get the plaque. Yeah. Yeah. We split it in half. Absolutely. Hope you're the caster again next time. Have half the fun as bullying life. Well, that's not a ringing really endorsement of my oh. abilities as a caster, I suppose. Oh, listen, listen, listen. <laughs> it's heartfelt, though. It's heartfelt. It's okay, hard, well, it is. Uh, hey, it is sincere, <laughs> at the very least. The rampant desire to bully me. Right. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> okay, how Listen, what are the opening moves check. like in Munster? Yeah, so Flory Man <laughs> starting off with the usual estate setup, religious stuff, increased levies, points and stuff, starting his first war versus Desmond and Kildare. Of course, looking to expand over here, grow his power base. No alliances just yet. Can Munster even ally, you know, the electors? Because that's, you know, the optimal way to do it, right? Ally every single elector. Hope that Austria hasn't allied any of them, which is the case in Flory's game right here. They're not allied to any elector, which is great. And then you somehow want to fight Austria. So, uh, yeah, mm. you can go ahead and tell us Zlevik's starting moves and if Austria has allied any electors in his game. Austria has gone ahead and not allied any electors either. Excellent. He has so managed to secure an alliance. Absolutely. He's managed to secure an alliance with Bohemia, with France, with Cologne and Mainz. That's another elector mm -hmm. as well as Brandenburg. So he Excellent. does have, what's that? One, two, three. That's four, is that four? Four electors? I think that is you four have electors, four in right? France, right? And keep in mind, Chad, that as a lot of these nations... Yeah. As a lot of these nations, and as the Pope especially, you can ally every elector, even though some of them may be rival to each other, or rival mm -hmm. to, like, two other guys. It is possible. With improving relations, diplorep guys, sending gifts, doing papal stuff, especially as the Pope, you can ally every elector, even if they're rival to each other. So all you got to do is declare on Austria somehow, which is doesn't even have to be a no CB from, you know, Zlevik's game because he can just, you know, Absolutely. claim Trieste right there. I'd be expecting this war so, to yeah. happen pretty soon-ish. As we see, he's, mm -hmm. he's allied to... That's four there. That should be a fifth over here as well. So, he, I mean, this one's going to be a bit tricky. Negative 56 because mm -hmm. Brandenburg and Saxony are rivaled. And we also have negative 19. So we should actually be able to get all of them apart from Saxony. So what we see there is... Hmm, how's he going to get hold of Saxony? Because bear in mind, if he declares war on Austria, he cannot mm -hmm. declare war on Saxony because you can't declare war on a member of HRE if you're at war yeah, with the HRE yeah. emperor. So, yeah. Is it going to be the start, dev, start of the win revoke? It's the starting development. Yeah, starting dev. Flory started with so four, that... remember? And Zlovic started with 63. That's the Pope's mm -hmm. dev at the start, 63. I don't know that he's going to be able to do this. Because Saxon has to Why is England relations. sieging down his capital, by the way? Oh, uh, 100 <laughs> years war. Oh, okay. They've decided that Rome is the most important. But don't worry, we have some friendly Frenchmen ready to clear them out. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Well done, chaps. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> so how, how does he go about this in the chat? What gets uh, priority? Lower dev or time completed? Lower development. And if they both pick the same nation or they start with the same amount of development, then we will go to the then final the tiebreaker, time, yeah. which is in-game time. If neither one of them is able to dismantle the HRE, then Red Hawk and I win. Yeah, we haven't talked about uh, that, but let's just agree that we yeah, me and Lath win. Yeah, me and well, Lath are the hey, co-masters of Universalis for Season 3. My guy, heard it it's, it's, our final, it's our final hour, Chief. What are they going to do? Yeah, <laughs> we just declare ourselves yeah. winners. We never let go. Yeah, don't worry. Production Bro, team's got our back. Stockholm and take that flag from them. <laughs> we just we just turn up and rob the we place. Just walk and in and take it. You're what, are what are you gonna do? Not give it to us? They'll respect the effort. They'll respect the hustle. They'll Come respect on. the effort. Oh man, yeah. I'm super intrigued sure. to see if he's gonna be able to ally the. Uh, this I don't think he's gonna be able to. How, how are things in your in your side of things? 
Yeah, Flurry moving along with additional wars. He has taken the province of Cork from Desmond and he has vassalized Kildare. Now fighting Thamond and Tyrone, these two nations located over here. Now, lots of expansion from Flurry. Of course, he knows that he has an extremely low starting dev nation, right? So he thinks, okay, Zlewik either has a higher starting dev nation than me, which he does, it is the Pope, or is the same. You can't find a three dev uh, nation over in Europe, I don't think. Uh, it's just uh, pretty much some of these guys down here that are three dev, right? That are closest. So, Flory yeah. doesn't have to rush this. All he has to do is just dismantle the HRE, right? He presumes that Zlewik has a higher starting dev nation than him. Of course, Zlewik did say he has a backup. So as soon as he gets done with the Pope right there, I'm very interested in seeing what the backup is. Yeah, Yaz is 3 dev, exactly. But how feasible is that really, chat, in uh, 60 minutes? Not very, right? As Flory wraps up his war with these two other guys, taking both the provinces of, uh, well, that's a very long name right there, Limerick and uh, Tyrone as well. So yeah, let's see what Slavic nice. is up to. Slavic <laughs> is just building up. Again, he's trying to secure this alliance as much as he possibly can. He's negative 18, but he's about to hit the relations cap here. So the only way he can get this alliance is, as you can see here, by building up his troops. Okay. He can't get the relations higher. He cannot get rid of that uh, Brandenburg alliance. He can't affect neutral attitude and he can't affect the Saxony having too many diplomatic relations. Yeah. The only thing he can do is improve his diplomatic reputation and his army strength. He's already done the diplomatic reputation. What about those people actions? Some of those people actions? Uh, I think that just improves the opinion, though. Okay, can I point a cardinal, uh, point maybe? cardinal. I think he's already done that. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. this is like he's he's at max anyway. Um, scornful insulted enemy. It's already it's going to start ticking down. He probably should have saved that for the end. Uh, at this point, yeah, he has to just take out a bunch of loans and build up to uh, the maximum. And there we go, some loans. Build up the maximum amount of army he can to try and convince them. At that point, he can declare war on Austria, take Vienna, and there we have a tasty little dismantle. It also works if there is an achievement associated with it, chats. So uh, if you want to get that for yourself, here's a brilliant way of going about it. Let's get that. He might flip True. friendly. No, he won't. Not at this point. Impossible. I don't think so. Very, but it very is possible to ally him. I think you will be able to. Oh, he'll be What's able to ally him. He has to, he has to increase his... Uh, his well, it's his alliance with Brandenburg and also the fact that Saxony has too many diplomatic relations because they start with mm -hmm. that uh, junior partnership yeah. over Thuringia and then yeah. ally a bunch of people. Like I said, it's just going to be the uh, army, army strength. But he has a lot. Minus 14 to get up to. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, mm -hmm. it's rather inconvenient for him, actually, at this point. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I, again, if I'm if I'm Zlevic, I just, I go for broke. For sure. Because he can call in. Let's see. He's, I mean, he's, he's carrying favors. There you go. So he can definitely call in the French, but he has to. He doesn't actually have to fight any of this lot. He can just blitz it to Vienna. So it's a case of just trying to stave off bankruptcy. So yeah. Yeah. And getting to Vienna first, sitting as a province of interest. Hmm? Yeah. He can just occupy it. Uh, that should be fine. Starting date is always specified, by the way, chat. Uh, yes. In all of these challenges, even without mention. They have to start 1444 November 11th. You can't do another starting date. We do, We just don't I have to right? mention that every time. Yeah. Would um, Unless it specifies otherwise. Yeah. That could be a cool way to do it in the future, but they're kind yeah. of broken. They are the start lights. But if we mm -hmm. want to... Uh, I just want to... If you want to flip to Flory and, and take him through what's going on over yeah. there. Yeah, so Flory declaring another war versus Ormond and Durkanal, along with Offaly, Clannercard, and Leinster right here, fighting pretty much everyone over in Ireland, except for, uh, well, Sligo right here and Ulster, which are uh, allied to Scotland and allied to England, respectively. So yeah, pretty much once, he, once he's done with these wars, he should be able to wrap up every uh, province that was easily gettable for him. After this, we'll see where he takes it. And no um, alliances just yet. He has turned Kildare into a march, however. Still no alliances right here as we get confirmation from Zlewik that he is actually going to be restarting. You heard it here first, folks. Yeah, Zlewik absolutely. restarting. So we're going to be staying on Flory for a while right here until those guys get that game going. And we can see that uh, Flory has just wrapped it up with whoever he was fighting right here. Yeah, these guys. There we go. That war is over. Now, Ormond is his uh, subject as well. So Flory had two subjects right now, Margin of Vassal. And uh, he's about to wrap up this third war as well, as soon as he sieges down the Fort of Connacht right here. It is also worth noting that we don't pause the time up for restarts. He's voluntarily, it's yes. not like a tech issue, he's voluntarily decided to restart to try and give himself yes. a better edge. And therefore, if it was a tech issue, yeah, we would pause. Yeah, exactly. But it's not. So it's not. But it yeah. does mean that I am now directly involved in the gameplay. My lightning yep. fast reflexes are ready to insert 
whatever well, numbers uh, are required of me. Well, Lathan's Luck restart there. Let's jump into Flory's POV directly, see what this guy right here is up to. Yeah, there we go. Stating up some stuff as we can see. Will he state up some more stuff? And, uh, you know, I'm sure Flory did say he has practiced this run. So uh, some of you guys in chat will know what his strategy is right here. But, uh, you know, for me, it's even more fun chat because I don't know what he's about to do. I haven't watched his streams, hey. you know. I don't know what it is starting his moonstroke. I'm whatever, already right? back in the game because I'm that good. Already? That is, a, that is less. Th that might be the record, bro. That is less than that 40 might be seconds. The record, honestly. For I am real. the greatest oh, God, of all. Chat, can I get some W's and some W lates in chat? We clown all day, but that was that was lightning fast. Doesn't matter about the players. Doesn't Let's matter about Red Bull. W's in the chat. Chat, chat. I did it. I'm the real winner. Excellent, excellent. Right, we do see if you want to flip to my POV, we do see that Zlevik is starting once again as the Pope. Again, as a decent starting strategy. Should probably angle for. Uh, this alliance with Saxony a little bit sooner, um, <laughs> and then that is probably the only you change go for that Saxony I personally first, make. Brandenburg, yeah, might not have you know those Diplo slots. They were, yeah, Picking well, up. he goes for Saxony first, yeah. which should be fine. Exactly. Yeah. So you can actually ally Saxony immediately, which would be a very good mm -hmm. idea. Yeah. Very nice. All right. We'll see what else he goes for Burgundy as well. Probably, presumably, to try and get a better time with Austria. Um, for those of you who said, there was uh, a, uh, a question earlier. I'm going to flip back to Flory's POV directly. There was a question earlier regarding uh, <laughs> regarding the why is Zlevik doing this when he heard that uh, Flory was going to be doing it with a lower development nation. Well, in the challenge against Chewie, he went for to, to take the mandate with a four or five development uh, nation. Mm -hmm. But he ended up winning because he won in the first basically 10 minutes because he picked a lower starting dev or higher starting dev yeah. than that and actually managed to succeed it, whereas Chewie was not able to do it. So if Flory is not mm -hmm. able to achieve what Flory set out to do, then Zlevic takes it by default because he's done yeah. it with the Papal State. I yeah. personally would have done it with Poland. I think, I, I don't think there's much point in doing it uh, as the Papal State versus Poland yeah. because yeah. because the simple fact is that you're going to have to go lower if Flory does it anyway. And you're yeah. banking on the fact that as that uh, if that is your insurance and you're hoping that Flory doesn't actually get anything on the board then poland is you can do a lot quicker. yeah just knock as it out of the park as, as poland oh in flory's game there. hesse is the emperor huh hmm. Hmm. Like, so not only will worse? flory not have to fight austria hesse is only allied to a bunch of losers two of them are that's electors though but really that's true and mine's right there so that's the Emperor oh. and two Electors right there, which means Flory is only going to have to link with Bohemia, Brandenburg, Köln, Saxon, and the end of the planet, and not Mainz or Trier. But this are is we, some uh, really, really good RNG. Are we allowed Flory to reveal team. that it's pre-recorded or no? Uh, no, only after the game. Only after the game? Okay, only after the game. Oh, I wasn't muted. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> well, you should have texted Cats out the bag. Either way. It's over. It's I'm not so sorry. Well, I tried We're texting, but never responded. live, chat. Live today is March seventh, two o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> March seventh, it's a hell of a Tuesday. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Either way, how old is the? Let's uh, check out, how old uh, is? Yeah, you check out what, what's going on over here. It looks like he. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, the Hesse ruler is forty-nine. Allied... Chat. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, he's allied to Bohemia, allied to Cologne, allied to Mines. Not allied to Saxony, uh, not allied to uh, the Palatinate, but is allied to Trier. This Saxony one, he can do now. Come on, do it, Slavik. Go on. Go on, notice it. You got this, buddy. Is he going to do it? Is he going to do it, chat? Hmm. Does he know? It's also going after... Oh, um, Flory, oh. no, H. <laughs> Hesse is oh, the Emperor. Oh, yeah, like, he allied Brandenburg first. Again? Yeah. Was that a mistake? Hmm. I mean, presumably he knows what he's doing, but he actually did said he didn't practice this one. But yeah. that is a mistake because he's in the same situation as he was before when he restarted. Do you I'm think he restarted sure specifically why. for that sax anything? I don't see why he wouldn't have. Hmm. This isn't. This is a harder start. Oh, well, Austria's got the worse one. allies this time. Hungary and Castile. Yes. Yeah, miserable. That absolutely miserable. What's What's Brandenburg's starting dev? I wonder. Let me go ahead and check. Okay, so mm. Brandenburg starts off as 46, and it's so much easier than the Pope. 
Why is hmm. he doing it as the Pope? Well, well, you can't be in the HRE. Oh, that's right. That's right. I'm well, stupid, I suppose if you bad. ally everyone, then you can leave that. No, 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 no. You're, you're actually onto something because what you, you can do. Not in the HRE. No, it just says as the HRE. So you can leave the HRE. It doesn't say starting as, it says as. So you could hmm. start as Brandenburg, get the alliances that you need. But then Bohemia is going to be tricky that, that one. We have to start not in the HRE though, right? Yeah. Did we? Was, yeah. that, was that what we agreed we did, in chat? We did, yeah. I'll defer we to your judgment. It has to be a non-HRE start, yeah. Okay, it's yeah, clarified yeah. something. All right, well, clearly, this is why I'm getting fired. <laughs> Enjoy casting the next season on your own, though. Well, good Have luck. fun with that. You know, we're both fired in 42 <laughs> minutes, so... Chat. <laughs> no, chat, I'm going to keep it real with you. I'm going to keep it a stack. I'm going to keep it a one hundo. I'm going to miss you boys, all right? <laughs> oh, do we start our tearful speech from now? No, it's okay. Hold it inside. Inside voices. <laughs> Commonly, okay, okay. Go I'm down. gonna delay it for Do you want to put one of you directly, and I will, I will, I'll yeah. keep you updated if anything here uh, changes. Yeah, let me just go get my fake tear bottle. I mean, re real tear bottle. Sorry. There's Flory's POV directly <laughs> looking for a real tear bottle. <laughs> yeah, I save them up. You know, when I chop it's... onions, I fill that stuff up. But yeah, Flory looking to oh, ally some God. electors now. He could actually have allied mines earlier, just when he checked. But uh, at this point, obviously, he knows Hesse isn't the emperor, you know. But by, de by declaring directly on Hesse, somehow, he could fight mines in Trier. And then just ally the rest of the electors. He has already allied Bohemia and Brandenburg and Köln. And guaranteed the Palatinate. Of course, that will make them like him more. So, he just He's has to get the, the Palatinate. And Saxony, although it will be extremely difficult to ally Saxony. Once again, as we can see right here, because of the Brandenburger alliance or rivalry that they have. Sorry. Of course, Saxony have too many diplomatic relations. That's going to stay as well. He can get rid of the neutral attitude. Improving with the planet right now. And maybe he's looking for a way to fight all of those guys at the same time. Interesting. HR is a bit of a yeah. puzzle, chaps, because again, you can't declare yeah. war on the Emperor after you've already started a war against one of the uh, members of the Empire. So, yeah. Say la vie. Florida's but yeah, he's no super close Saxon. to the, the planet right here. Doubt that. Yeah, things are still all the same on this side, so you don't need to be yeah. flipping to me. It's just... Let's see what Florida is up to. Yeah, do it. Looks like we're gonna have a restart again. Let us type in Discord. Let us type in Discord. Another one. Let's yep. go. Time me, chat. Yep, time me. I'm good. going in. Time him, chat. If it's more than 37 seconds, everyone post L's. If it's less, post W's. All right. We <laughs> gotta give our boy credit when credit is due. But that's the time limit. 37 here. seconds. So yeah, man, Flory's still looking to ally a bunch of electors. He is going to pop off the Aladdin Alliance, like I said earlier. In fact, Bohemia is already voting for him, you know? So that's pretty nice. But once again, man, Saxony proving to be the difficult one in both of our players' runs right here. Which uh, isn't the case usually in my experiences when I'm looking to dismantle the HRE. Yeah, it's... um, It's Coln or Mainz or... You know, someone like that, or Trier, or those guys. You know? So I'm actually surprised that we have this Saxony problem right here. Alright, we're back. A little bit Excellent. slower last time. A little bit slower. He has the weird mm -hmm. numbers as his password. <laughs> yeah. Right. Also, again, going as the Pope. Really committing to that as we have done a third of the challenge already the time has gone 59 seconds people are spamming yells thank you very much i'm now going to get roasted thanks red hawk thanks oh, for putting well, that on my door it happens you now, are the I one thing i will not be missing about the laptop... casting for masters you know Solace. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the laptop that i use for switching povs has just a lost battery so i'm waiting for a charger right now we're gonna stay on flory for about a minute more here chat <laughs> sorry no ability to switch right now <laughs> what are you doing the thing is you didn't have to say that Wait, there's nothing happening no, in this fun. game. We did, you could have just could have just hidden it. It's funnier if I do. It's funnier if I do. Come on, chat. Oh, and this is a life. This is a life advice right here as well. Not just a new four advice or whatever. This Always is a man who's given up. When faced with two or more choices, all right. 
Always do the funnier thing. Alright? Always do the funnier thing. <laughs> it's terrible life advice. You can't say that. <laughs> what do you mean? No, it's not terrible. Oh, man. You right, listen, it's always, always worked out for me, alright? It's always I'll, worked I'll, out I'll for I'll commentate whilst you, whilst you get... I can hear you get further away from the mic as you yeah, uh, plug I'm in. Plugging it in right now. The amateurs. Ah, oh, imagine not that. being on every season of Master Universalis thus far. Like a, ve Listen, like a veteran like meme? myself. Are you talking yeah. about me? Bruh. I am indeed. I'm talking about everyone. It's me and me and the host. But I think I think they're finally sick of me. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Three is enough. <laughs> three, that's it. You don't allow right, three. Charger has been acquired, right. chat. Yeah. He's definitely gearing up for something here. He is right here. Looking at releasing? Did he release? He released. Did he release? He is. He's releasing. Release two. His vassals. Uh, oh, right. Let's that's it. He's, he's doing it to uh, increase increase the amount of loans he can take. Uh huh. As far as I'm aware. So we shall uh, see. Have you checked out? Have you checked out of uh, Flory's strategy prior to this? Do you know what he's doing? No. Right. Uh, like I said earlier, some of, some of the people in chat do know. And obviously, that's why they're excited to see it. But uh, what I said was, you know, it's super exciting for me to not know it, right? To not know what he's up to, to see how that'll progress. In, yeah, I'm uh, glad you, you switched one. to my POV as I show you that he, uh, that Zlevik has, in fact, let's see, is he going to ally Saxony first time this time? Nope, he ally, he ally Brandenburg again. <laughs> Come on, man. But th th that can't be where he's be restarted, though. Surely not. If he yeah. keeps allying Brandenburg before Saxony and still restarting, I'm going to say that the Saxony alliance is not the reason that he's restarting. I don't know. Though. Yeah, it's unfortunate. We did see um, when Habibi took on Kara, we did see Habibi go for uh, the Papal State and successfully do it. Mm -hmm. um, so I imagine it is a tried and trusted uh, strategy at this point, chat. All right, chat, I want you to put the name of the nation that you think that you could do, the, slow, the uh, lowest starting dev nation that you think you could complete this challenge with. And if you think that you can do better than either our competitors, be sure to join the Discord such that you are able to demonstrate it and you may be invited onto the next season of Masters of mm -hmm. Universalis. For sure. That was smooth, huh? We were saying yes, yeah. just because Flory said it in the, in the thing. If anyone does it as yes, right, then put it on the Discord. In an hour. Remember, you only have an hour time limit. You can't go until the end of the game. Put it on the Discord. I don't know. I'll do something for I you. I reckon I'll I do something do nice. with Bologna. Bologna's 12, though. I mean, hmm. I reckon I'd do it with Munster. Maybe not, but the hour issue is the issue. Mm, yeah, yeah, true. The Ten hour shouts, thing really? is the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Denmark's not a bad shout, because they do have a low starting dev. They just got, you know... Mm -hmm. I don't know what starting dev do they have? Well, actually, 118. I'm lying to you. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Okay. All right, we do see on this side of things, again, the same strategy. If you want to flip over to Flores POV, I'll let you know if anything changes um, as and when. Yeah, going, going back here. to Flores right here, we can see that he has secured the alliance with the Palatinate, and he has released a bunch of uh, nations over here in Ireland, all of which are uh, his marches. Unfortunately, uh, all of them are 100% liberty desire, so we'll see what's up with that. But uh, yeah, no alliance with, mm -hmm. once again, the only nation that he needs is Saxon right here. And he has stationed his troops over in West Fallen, which is a province in Colm, right next to Hesse. Right next to them. Force limit is insane, of course. He released all those Did nations to get the force limit. And uh, let's go to his POV directly and see if he's getting ready to declare right here. What is So the interesting do thing about the marches you know? is that they'll contribute the force limit. Um, yeah. And it makes me look like I just read chat to find that out, but I did, I did know that. So check his, uh, his yeah. force limit if you don't mind and let us know what it's all about. Yeah. So I'm interested in seeing what happens with Saxon. All right, walking into Oberhessen right now. I'm going to arrive on the 17th. On pausing, 14th. 16th. And there's the attention, declaration. Attention. There we go. Here. We there it is. Go. There it is. He declared on Saxony a war of aggression. Obviously, that was the only way to drag in Saxony along with the Emperor and his two allies in this war. So now he is oh. allied to all the electors. Is it gonna be stack web? Is it gonna be stack web, mate? Here we go. It should be, surely. Has to be. Has to be. Nope. It's not unfortunate. But and remember, he only needs to control the capital. He does not need 
Yep. Do anything else. There's no need to win this war. He just needs to occupy both of the capitals, chat. That's what makes Keep this challenge a bit different. Keep in mind that he has different. to get to everyone's capital before Koln, because Koln will desire all of that land. And he has not set it as a province of interest. So if Koln occupies a capital before him, else. they won't transfer it to him. They will not. Interesting. Or someone else. One of his allies could occupy it. And yeah. remember, it's not even about occupying it. It's about getting to the province Well, first. it's just Koln. If Koln they... is the only ally. Okay, he only called in Koln. There's yeah. no other allies? Right, no okay. other allies. So, trying to let's manage go to my POV, POV at the same time. Before we yeah, period, uh, explain that. He, specifically his army, needs to siege down. Neither Hassan right here, Trier... Mainz and Dresden. He needs to control those three provinces. Otherwise, he can't do it. We got a Magdeburg stack walking into Netherhessen right here. He is about to beat up the Hesse army right here, but I think he will take an L right there unless he can get there fast enough. Let's see. There's a dub right there. He could can he get here battle. in time? There we go. Moving his troops in. Ooh. Already occupied this province right here. Let's see. Is he going to get that? Stay in pause, he's checking. Let's see. Also, I want to quickly check. What are his uh, generals? Uh, he has special? a five siege oh. general on the Forlorn Hope uh, mercenary company. Which Lovely. is the company Straight that is in uh, Hesse's capital right there. And he does get there in time, but lots of troops converging on Still his position right here. That. Will it be enough? Remember, this is an all or nothing war for Flory. He has decided to walk away the 35k uh, HRE army walking to unseize Hesse's province right here. Does Flory have enough troops for this? He can separate peace mm. Aachen, Anhalt, Goslar, Magdeburg, Munster, Nassau. You know, Thuringia seems to be independent. Yeah, it is. So he can separate peace a lot of nations right here. Is there an option to call to arms someone? I don't think it's hmm. worth separate PC anyone. I think he just guns for the capitals that goes for it, you know? Mm. Connor's vassals declare war of independence. They, what, no, truces, surely? If they don't have a truce, then yes, they can. They have truces. They can't declare at this point. Yeah. But what would Five potentially years. help Flory right here? He is not currying favors with Bohemia. He could potentially call them in. I think he fired mm, off too early point. on this one. You think? I think he should Bear have. Bear in mind, this isn't all. Oh, they're chasing him. This yep. is an all-or-nothing war Cooper. right now. If he messes this up, this is the end of the run. There are no second chances for him in this run. He will have to restart and he will have to do it again. We'll see yep. if he decides to go for uh, Munster again, if that is the case. Remember, he does have 1,500 uh, in the bank. How much is he losing for a month? Vassals can mind declare during war since uh, Lions of the North, keep in mind. They can declare during war. How much is he losing per month? Money? 25 ducats, yes. but he has about 1,500. Very yeah, manageable. so I think Very uh, manageable. he should have waited. Career favors with Brandenburg and Bohemia to be able to drag them in. Let's see if this pays off, man. Koln is about to get pieced out, of course. That doesn't matter too much. Let's hope they don't break his alliance with Koln, though, which could Ooh. be detrimental. So let's see. That Standing over here would in Brown be, well, I think they should theoretically give land over. Theoretically. No, a co-belligerent. Mm, I'm not sure what the AI is going to do. I'm just in, in terms of what the whether or not they'll break his uh, alliance or not. Yeah, because if that alliance gets it's broken occupied. right here between him and Colin, it's done. It's done. Absolutely. Yeah. We'll have to restart. Yeah. Interesting. So, okay. you know, I don't know exactly no floor is thought process right here. What I would do personally is just knock out everyone that's irrelevant first. But, uh, but he yeah. He's more morale. He can get morale through winning battles if you win the small... Uh, those little small victories. But again, I don't think he needs morale. I think if they're going to be sieging... There you go. If they're going to be sieging down cold ca capital, that's a capital fort. He can definitely take out um, Hesse's capital faster than that. Um, the yeah. issue is going to be the Saxon capital. But because immediately after they win that, yeah, that siege in the west, work. they are going to try and desiege Hesse's capital. So he needs to win this one. He does have a 5 siege general, remember. He could theoretically mm -hmm. win both of these. Is he able to march directly to the capital? Of uh, Saxony? Yes. Should yeah, I, I, maybe. I can't, I yeah, can't really see can. that. Uh, I mean, if he goes up through, maybe the Brandenburg, Wall he should be able to. in Magdeburg is preventing him. Uh, if he gets access up north, he should be able to. Uh, if you want to flip to my POV briefly, yep. Uh, I do want to show off this. We do have a war 
a no CB against Trier and Austria. Therefore, mm -hmm. he is going for it. Has summoned all of uh, the money in his treasury, uh, as well as he did try improve relations and did get the alliance eventually with Saxony. So he looks to occupy Trier. He looks to occupy Vienna. Is in a war with Hungary. Uh, some very favorable allies uh, this time around for Zlevic. And so we'll see if he's able to do that. If you want to flip ba uh, back to Flores POV, I'll let you know how things develop over here. Yeah, going back to Flores POV, very interestingly, if I go into the dismantle HRE button, it says the Elector Brandenburg is not controlled by you or one of your dependents. The capital is occupied now. by rebels. Ah, that's that's why it says that. All right, so that's what I wanted to point out. Okay, because it's occupied by rebels. But he has gotten Hesse's capital, man, which means Brandenburg needs to unoccupy themselves, which, of course, they will do. And let's hope Flory doesn't have to wait for that. But aside from that, he just needs Saxony's, Trier's, and Mainz's capitals, which are here. So, two things. Firstly, Brandenburg yep. is absolutely a uh, uh, a Zlevic fan, doing whatever he can. Also, <laughs> Brandenburg only has 9,000 troops, so a single siege mm -hmm. tick that goes poorly is going to be massively detrimental. Yeah. I mean, he can pro potentially just walk over and help them out, right? He should have access. Yeah, with a thousand troops, yeah. Can do, but then those troops are very vulnerable. And he's going to need every single one of them if he's to finish this within a good time. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. Nice this event right be... there for morale. Another oh, battle won. Oh, My favorite one. All right, so now he's going over to beat up the troops that are sieging down Colm. Staying right here. Oh, and they do shift off. Too. Okay. Yeah, they have moved off the siege. You know, Brandenburg does have some progress. This is Hesse trying this to unsiege their capital. He doesn't have another time for another run of this magnitude. Either no. he wins this no, he does not. and takes the game, or Miltek five he has to there somehow get a run. Well, that's important. So he is at a big advantage, especially versus Hesse there at three. Mainz is at three. Saxony is at three. Everyone else is at three. He's at five. So he should be good by winning these battles. If you want to flip to my POV, I'll take you through how Zlevitz War is progressing. We yep. do see that Trier has been occupied by Burgundy. Oh. Which is very, very unfortunate. Burgundy He's is going to be in this war? Yes. So it should be fine. Uh... Right? No, hang on. What? That's not... No, it should be fine. Yeah, it should be fine. It's him or his allies. His ally controls it, so it should be absolutely fine, I think. We'll see. Because oh. now he just needs to siege down Vienna, and then he can dismantle the HRE. As far as I'm aware. Unless I'm missing something, that should be fine. Huh. Interesting. I don't think... I didn't think that if uh, Province was occupied yeah, by I didn't think so. um, someone else, that you could do it. Yeah, I didn't think so either. But it is just showing it just the one condition there. Mm -hmm. so I'm not. Mm -hmm. I'm not. I'm not sure. I guess we're wrong. Someone. Uh, hey, do you want to read out that subscriber message? Because someone did subscribe. Shout out to Fat Dragon is God. It says Lath easily beats both of these guys. Easy clap. I hate and love Lath. So I just wanted to, you know, uh, uh, is that what it said? Army. I didn't. I, I couldn't read it. I was focused on this. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. We'll keep right, focus well. on uh, Zlevik's POV for just now because we'll, we'll, unless something yeah. more pressing is happening, because I want to see him dismantle the HRE and get this registered. Bear in mind, yeah. if Flory does fail What's his run, he's going to right do there. Twenty-eight percent currently. No breach tools. Doesn't have. Well, has one siege general. There it is. Vienna is able to dismantle Vienna the HRE. Tenth of June, forty fifty-two. Let's go to his POV. There it is. Directly. All right. Flip to your. Flip to it. That's it. It's done. If you want to flip to your POV, because he's it's definitely done. going to be wanting to get Boom. restarted. Let's go. Yep. Did you note down the date? Yes. I got it. June 10th, 10th, 1452. That's the one. That's what you said? In there case we go. Flory decides to do the same one faster, we will let Flory know. Yeah. So that's a good run there by Zlawik. Took about seven years. Not as good as Poland. You can do it in about seven months. You just have to restart so many times because they start off without a ruler, of course. <laughs> right. But uh, yeah, so back with the new rules. Right here. Mm -hmm. Siege down Hesse. Still not going for anything else. Brandenburg has unoccupied themselves, so mine, Saxony, and Trier are left. No one is sad just yet. Still can't white piece anyone. This war has been too short. But yeah. 
for sort of staying in this area right here. Colm's war exhaustion, someone asks in the chat, is uh, not bad. They're at medium. Let's see how he goes here. Yeah, there we go. He's in Nassau right now, walking into some troops in Koblenz, which is Trier's Tier 2 fort. Uh, real, real quick, man. So we said they had to start in HRE. But they, they can't start in HRE. What was the, what was the, what was no, the exact can't. clarification? They, no, they no, can't? No, they can't start in the HRE. No, no, they can't. Okay. No starting uh, in the HRE. All right. They have to be out of the HRE. Your... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, so there we are. Stand your POV for a little bit. Yeah, going to Flory's POV directly, we can see him rearranging armies and stuff like that. There we go. Carefully thinking about moving into Colon. He is doing that just now. We can see, and there we go. He walks onto Colon. Oof, but where did that massive stack come from? But this could actually be a dub either way because of the massive tech advantage that Flory has. Is he going to win this battle over here in Colon, ladies and gentlemen? 40k troops versus 20k. Morale is pretty close. He is getting good rolls. He might actually have this. He might actually have this. Ooh, there we go. That's a win. Did he do it? That's a win right there. Excellent. 20k troops versus 40k HRE troops. For himself. He held the line. Amazing. All right. So now what he has to do is maybe some of these guys are going to get sad right here. I can go over to my POV directly to show that off. So yeah, all of these guys are still high. War enthusiasm, by the way. Hesse is getting pretty war exhausted. Of course, because they've been occupied this whole time. Okay. Uh, just for quick clarification of the rules, we had a little bit uh, of an adjustment. You have to be... It was So, chat, everyone who said Laith L for not understanding it, it turns out I was right. Uh, you have to uh, be not be in the HRE when you dismantle. But you can start as a member of HRE. So, Zlevik, if you flip to my POV for a sec... Zlevik is starting as the five development province or nation of Saxe-Lauenburg, which is allowed provided he leaves the HRE before dismantling the HRE. Uh, obviously, because you can't... Uh, I don't, yeah. Are you, can you dismantle speed? It doesn't matter. He's going to leave first, and then he, has to, then he can dismantle. So that's the rule. So basically, chat was wrong. I was right. Carl said the exact opposite. Yeah, but uh, I, I was right. <laughs> but basically, we've had some clarifications on the rules as, as, as to how they were written. This is how we are doing things in this run. It, it's, it's, all been, uh, it's, it's, all, it's all been cleared. Uh, don't worry. Uh, get the rules straight first. The, the rules were straight. The rules were straight. They were written. Uh, it, nothing's been affected. We're all good. Yep. So, so the rules, not the host of all this, this guy said, again, this was, Christo makes the, the challenges. The rules were clarified with um, Zlevic and... Uh, and flow beforehand. This is according to those rules. That is all very acceptable. So, do you want to flip yeah. over to Flory's POV and I'll update you as to how things progress on this front? Yeah, if we go over to Flory's POV, we can see that he is sieging down Trier right now at 49%. He is about to get it. So, as soon as he gets Trier, which he does just now, we can see that he only needs to occupy Mainz and Saxony. Mainz is right here, level 1 fort. Should be easy to get. Now, Go for Niederhesse right here. Beat these guys up. Boom bolt at the mines. Beat these guys up. Boom bolt at the Dresden. And uh, after that, he should be good. Some of these guys are getting annoyed, but no one ready to get white pieced just yet. And of course, you would want to white piece some of these uh, guys that you don't need to occupy so you can uh, get them out of the war and so you won't have to fight them 50 times. But yeah, looking oh, good so far for Flory, man. It started off a little bit weak in this area right here, you know, waiting for the uh, army morale to go up and stuff like that. But uh, also to yeah. uh, to clarify to clarify once more, um, regardless of, of the cast of, the, of you know us and, and the host and everything else, uh, Christo and so the, you know the person who makes the rules and Flory and Zlevic were all were, were given the, the correct instructions. So Flory and Zlevic know Ooh. what the what the rules are. Just because we didn't, just because you didn't at home, and you know we didn't still the players, which are the people who matter. The players are the ones that had um, had the rule set clarified, and they were aware. So we're yeah. all good. Meanwhile, Flory can call in the Paladinate. 
Which is a good thing, unless they get occupied, maybe. All right, well, Flory getting two out of the four necessary capitals. Mine says right here, man, this is a farm fort. It's going to be so easy to take down. No defensiveness. Look at this. 1% defensiveness in mines, bro. Look at that. <laughs> so, yeah, Flory moving over to uh, beat up the armies in Hesse's capital right here. The Emperor. Or not. Or just, oh, yeah, or yes. Or not. He's just chilling. Hmm. Yeah, let's He's go to his POV directly. There we Let's go. Let's take a look. He has not called in the Palatinate, even though he can. He does. He wants the Pretty glory soon... for himself. Oh, hang on. Yeah. Oh, that's, is that your, that's your, is that your POV? No, this is Flory directly. Did you just call him in? Okay, sweet. You just called him in then. He he, he noticed. Excellent. Oh, okay. He did? So. Yeah. All right. Nice. Yes, now he, just he has a little bit of help. Palatinate, decent nation. Five K troops gonna contribute. And Oof, they have siege back unlucky. Hesse's capital, which is unfortunate. Running out of money here. 664 six, ducats. This is going to be a close one. Yeah. Oh, chat, do you still believe? Do you still score. believe in Flurry? Yeah, it's There's been a, a hefty right one. There. He's had a, it's a little unfortunate. But that five siege general, is he still around? Uh, five siege general should be a free company guy. He is still around. Yes. Ooh, that, a 2K stack oh, moving on to Mines' capital right here. And that's Flores gone right sacrifice there. sacrifice a lot for that, presumably years of his life. Um, how old mm -hmm. is, is Hesse's ruler? Hesse's ruler is at this point 54. They do have a Four. heir, and let's see. Uh, if Hesse's ruler dies, they still will be emperor. Four okay. nations are right, voting so he's still, he's still all good. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. That's, That's what's up. Bad. So let's go ahead and... Uh, it's going to be close, Levick man. Doing, uh, He's got 15 minutes left. Levick, numbers. again, just allying people, building up some stuff, having a, a great time. This is a five-development nation. This is going to be a very, very tricky one uh, to beat. Uh, people are saying, oh, why is he picked this nation when Flory, uh, you know, will beat him? Well, if Flory doesn't register it, and Zlevic does, Flory has absolutely no hope. Uh, again, if we, if he, if the Flory can get go as the Pope, potentially get a better start than Zlevic and blitz him and then beat him on in-game time. This way, Zlevic is playing the, uh, the the smart game of registering a high score, like a decent score first, and then as low as he can go, which is very important given there's only 15 uh, minutes left as he tries desperately to go speed five, having allied one. Uh, can he get Bohemia? I think it's two, three, four. Five out of the seven electors. Mm -hmm. He's close to getting Bohemia itself as well. He should be able to get all of them, apart from that dastardly Saxony once more. But again, does have to contend with Austria, which uh, is a bit different in Flory's game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there we go. So if you want to flip back to Flory's POV, I will keep you updated as to when he decides to declare the war, if he does indeed. Yeah, if we go back to Flurry over here, we can see that he is once again sieging Hesse's capital right here. But then again, of course, we got this Nassau, Anhalt, and Munster combined army sieging down Heidelberg, which is the Palatinate's capital, while Hesse also sieges down Oberfalls right here, which is the other Palatinate fort. Now, he is going to get uh, Hesse's capital pretty soon right here. But once again, man, he's just sort of stuck in this area right here, not going for Mainz's capital, not going for Saxony's capital either. And there we go. Hesse's capital falls once again. All he needs is Mice and Saxony. Time doesn't matter at this point. He just needs to get it done. Because then he will have dismantled the tree with a lower starting definition than what Slavik did. Which was with the Pope. Unfortunately, war started more than 30 months ago. So there is no possibility for him to call in Bohemia and Brandenburg anymore at this point. And man, if this run doesn't go to Flory, if he doesn't get crowned champion... I think his mistake right here was not waiting just a little bit more so he can call in Bohemia at least right from the money, start. She's going to be a problem. Yeah. Close to running out of money right here. If he bases, he's going to get 10 ducats, which is nothing. That's not going to help at all. So Is he going to be able to get up Flurry Munster? About, if, he's, uh, if he gets that siege up top, he might be able to get Munster. Let's see. Can he get Munster out? Because he's, he's on their capital and has taken uh, a, a province. Can he get them no. out? Two away. Two oh, away. That is really unfortunate. Yeah. That is so unfortunate. Can he give them something? Oh, that ah. is a stack right there. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, he's got to, he's got to take out that that capital fort. Uh, got to defend it. It's on positive mm -hmm. numbers. Again, he's very fortunate insofar as uh, his ally does have a capital fort down there. Hopefully, they'll go back to sieging it immediately afterwards. He could take mines after this, and then it's a hop, skip, and a jump over to okay. Saxony, which is going to be the tricky one. It itself being yeah. a capital fort. But we do register only about twelve minutes left on the clock. It's going to be very this tight here, Chad. Be, he can strengthen the privileges, but he doesn't. Yeah, sieging down mines right now. This is going to be a very, what very do you think easy fort to be, get. What do you think is going to be more of an issue? Do you think it's going to be bankruptcy, or do you think it's going to be uh, the timer? Uh, bankruptcy. Does he have yeah. you know, enough money to go and siege down Dresden, a level 3 fort? In the woods, by the way. Watch doesn't actually make too much of a difference. He can he can do it if he can piece out everyone else. How far is everyone else from, from white piecing? No one. No one's even close to white piecing. No one that hasn't been Jesus. occupied or beaten or anything like that. So he's got to go for mines. Yeah. And then for Saxony, while these guys, in the meantime, do not unsiege anything like Hesse, Trier, or Mines' as capitals, which are all very easy to unsiege their level 1 forts. He, does he have enough I, IRL I, time? Yes. Does he have enough money? Does he have enough in-game time? I don't think no, so, Chad. I would say no. He's not a stack like that. Thirty-five percent. He's got. A, he does have a five siege general. He can debase as well. Maybe exploit death Debasing, for like three or four. He's only gonna extra. get like a hundred ducats from that. That's gonna get him There's five mines. extra months. There's oh, mines. Mines how many all troops. he okay. has to go. All he's, he's got to do is. I get mean, at Saxony this point, right if I'm now. if I'm Flory, you just go for Saxony. You just you just you gamble on the uh, on the on the. He's got to go through chances. these guys. The only he's got to go through these guys. Because he can't yeah. let them siege uh, Hesse's capital. He, I think he has to. I think he has to just, just gun for it and hope. I don't see him winning that battle. Oof. There we go. You can see the potential uh, battles down here while we look if he anyone could is close also to also guess. Out. I know what going potentially as well. That would help. Here we go. Here's the battle. He didn't stop the siege of Hesse, but now they're going for mines. He did. That's, that's, that's worse for him, I'd say. Actually, no, he should be okay. Okay, if I'm here at this point, you send over 9,000 troops uh, with, the, with the 5C general over to Saxony's capital, and then at that point, you just go around attacking everything in sight. Uh, you just got you got, you got a gun for it. You do not have the uh, the numbers required. Oh, this There's is another be battle tricky. Right there. He might be able That's to be lowering dumb. people's uh, abilities to stay in the war here. Might maybe standing on the capitals. Again, he, he was close to getting at Munster. Saxony is low, interestingly enough. But all of the nations not, that are low, not he's enough. not the ones that he wants to piece out. He's going for Munster. Did if he, he takes Osmobrook right and Meppen, he can get Munster out. And he can just take, probably, out he can probably take money. He just oh, pieced out man, Munster. 10 minutes. 10 minutes with everything on the line, my friend. Oh, If he pieces oh, out these other late. guys, he can take it. Let's see what Zlevik is up to real quick before we go back to Flory. Zlevik, he's just gearing up for a war. I'd imagine he's gathering up... Uh, some troops and the free company uh, i'll let you know if anything changes but for right now things are pretty stable i assume he's going to wait until the last possible moment to go for the emperorship austria still Magdeburg, maintaining their out. control all right flip back over to flory and i'll keep <clears throat> updated as to what's going on over here another nation pieced out all flory has to do is just stand on a nation's capital to piece them out he doesn't even have to do anything else so there we go standing on ghost law right now he can knock them out very easily he is doing that right now and waiting for his diplomats to come 116. back 116 this is going to be close. There we go. Diplomats are back. So he can now peace out Goslar. He has to go for Nassau and Thuringia next. Nassau and Thuringia. Once those two guys are out, oh, Thuringia, maybe not. They do have two forts. But this is a lot mm, less. He, no, he should be, if he stands on the capital and, and takes the province not protected by a fort, he should be able to do it. But he can't get there, I don't think, unless he has the uh, quite convoluted access. Yeah, he's got to go Mate, for this Nassau. Is it, the entirety now. of season five, yep. or season three, coming down to this final eight minutes this final couple of battles Whew. oh man he can peace out nassau now as well diplomats are back they are about to pop out let's see all right chat put a one this in the chat can. if you think that he's gonna do it a two if you don't think he's gonna be able to pull it off oh mate destroying a free company or something yeah he's got to be able to peace out nassau now on low destroying another company Surely. Surely. He has debased to the max. 213 ducats. He can potentially exploit Dev in his one province right here. For uh, it's about gonna come down to the ducats. wire. It's gonna come down to the wire. 
Oof, he can't it, peace is out. Is he Nassau going for anymore. it? Looks like he's going for it. He missed the Nassau peace out. There we go. 17k troops on Saxony. Is it 21%? It's gonna come down to it's just gonna come down to the sieges. Again, I reckon I'd I'd stick 9,000 there and the he rest gets of them something just go. good. That's huge. That's so big. From minus Water shortage. to zero. These guys are How much minus 21, up? minus 28, minus 28. Losing 19 ducats per month, 20. Oh man. Chaps, this 14%, is gonna come down to the Lock with siege right here. He is gonna be able to get Dresden before these guys potentially. 0% on Trier. It's gonna be very tight. It's gonna be so tight. It's gonna be so tight. On a 14%. For all the marbles, weeks, we've been here for six weeks now. Week in, week out, prepping challenges, pouring over he's every detail. He's there it is! On 14%! On 14%, he's done it! What a way! That's what it. a way to That's go it. so far to secure season three. Two-time Marcy Rosales. There is every chance that Zervik can pull it off. Let me let Zervik know that he's actually managed to achieve it. Note it down, July 5th, 1458. Getting Dresden a level 3 fort on 14%. The God Siege General from the, what you call it, Forlorn Hope, Marcus Courtenay with the five Siege Pips. This guy was born out of a cannon, ladies and gentlemen. Getting Dresden at 14%. As Trier was at zero, Mainz was at minus seven, and what was this called? Niederhessen was at minus 21%. An excruciatingly long war, four years in game time which is nothing but so long for us so many battles won and lost so many ducats lost at 130 this run would have been over in seven month ticks or maybe nine if he exploited dev once but on july 5th 1458 that. flurry has done it as moonster starting with four development absolutely or ridiculous development. from the five seas general to hess taking the emperorship i'm gonna go on a limb and say it I don't think that this would have been remotely possible as if, if Austria, with the, with the war and with what we've seen in front of us, if Austria was in, in charge. Agree. Everything has gone this man's way and he's taken full, full opportunity. The only person in Marcin Vassalis' history to hand this man an L is Venomite. Ridiculous. Shout out Venomite. Absolutely ridiculous. Massive from Florida. Let's go to Slavic. An incredible and game see, from Nikola in player. Five and a half Slavic, I... I have informed him it. of what uh, of what's happened. Um, he has paused the game. He's typing. He's going to end this one anyway. So go to his POV directly as we reflect on the season. Wow! My God, it does well, give you and I a really nice chance to to sort of reflect on our uh, our yeah. six weeks as being part as part of this. Because I don't, I don't I've been, I'm sure you'd echo these sentiments, but it has been. So lovely. Huge shout out to everyone at Speed5 for, for letting us get involved in this. Massive shout out to player and also to you, chat, for making it so enjoyable to cast these games. It's always fun to, to have an audience and you've been absolutely with fantastic. Us. Yeah, man. Starting from uh, six, week, six weeks back when the scores were zero for everyone, we had some of the best players in U4, in the entire U4 community, competing for the Master of Universalis Duels Season 3 Champion, man. You know, we got Flory and Zlevik right here. We had uh, Venomite and the Blobber. We had Habibi and Chewy. Some content creators, some not. Uh, Venomite, you know, was a viewer just like you guys in the chat. He posted a challenge in the Discord, which you should do too. He got invited to participate. And after lots of dubs by everyone, lots of L's by everyone, you know, even Flory and Zlevik also lost themselves before this. It all led up to this point, these final three challenges and like the icing on the cake. We had a third challenge after a 1-1 from our first two. And in amazing fashion, by getting the fort in Dresden with a 5 seed general, Flory takes this one away. And uh, as things are looking, well, dear viewers, Flory will be your Season 3 Masters of Universalis Duels champion. Not only that, a back-to-back 2022-2023 U4 champion. So and he gets a plaque, a lovely plaque with his name on it. Ridiculous, quite frankly. I mean, it was back and forth. Zlevik making the smart choices in this one, uh, going for the paper seat. I mean, it was close. It was close. He almost won it on that uh, paper run, which would have been rather incredible. Um, yeah. yeah, fantastic. Huge, huge plays from both of them. Both of them dominating their respective chosen ones, and then it coming down to the wire and one that we chose. Exactly. I mean, you couldn't have written it better. That's fantastic. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah. that is absolutely, absolutely fantastic. Also, huge shout out to the production team. Doing an amazing job. Shout out to the production, man. Shout out to our host. Shout out to everyone who played, everyone who watched. Chat, what did you think of this season, man? Not just today's game, not just every, you know, not the just last week, season every game, every game you've watched. I mean, the what incredible like, thing man, last week like... was that it came down to the final games. Yeah. Suspense no and lots one... of games. And, uh, I mean, yeah. well, is this the best U4 live content you've ever watched? Live competitions, you know, Absolutely. not talking about, you know, single player stuff and stuff like that. I think it is, man. So, uh, that is huge. And bear in mind, chats, we will have a chance to speak to our players as well. Allow Florius chance to celebrate live on camera. So stick around for that. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm fired according to Speedfire. Great. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, well, if I am no, fired, your final it's been minutes. a pleasure. Hell of a journey, yeah. chaps. Hell of a journey. Oh, man. Dude, so Speed 5 has come a long way over the last uh, couple of seasons of specifically Master Universalis from when I was competing as a player. And I'm very much looking forward to seeing what happens next with EU4 on the Speed 5 uh, Twitch yep, channel, yep. Uh, because I'm sure it's going to be onwards and upwards. As Levick yep. goes ahead, types in GG because he's managed to do it with a five development nation. Did leave the HRE, did yeah. fulfill all the conditions. Amazing. So he started with the five development nation. Amazing. He has Run done Levick as well. his job. Perfectly. Just Absolutely. Time. That was well, difference. look how quickly he did it as well. One dev difference. One dev difference. Yeah. So congratulations to both of our participants and to all of the players involved. Whew. Man, that was rather intense, chaps. Yeah, not just this game, man. This whole season has been super intense. Whole season yeah, has been... Uh, the like I said, know. last last season, we didn't know who was going to be in the final until right at the end of the last week. It could have been anyone. Yeah. We had nothing secured, nothing uh, set in stone and that's always gonna be fun that's part of the magic of this i mean some people don't think this is an esport but i think it's been proven today that that is very yeah. much the case oh well chat, it's our final you little chat for this uh it, it's, it's done it's our final little chat for the season what do you think favorite moment i'm gonna miss you i'm gonna miss you me too my friend there we go i said it <laughs> i said it <laughs> is that I, is that why you've been upset my, this entire time having bottle. a go at me <laughs> It's all repressed all right, now. We're good now. Oh, man. Yeah. Excellent. There you go. Are the, uh, the hosts ready Studio. for us? <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> well, we are ready, and we are more Hello. than ready to say congratulations oh, to you. Flurry. <laughs> Oh, and he. Okay, let's hear take over the party for me. Let's go. Next, let's take over oh, the yeah, party. Let's take over the party. Hey, let's like, do a high five. I, I can answer the question. But... Do it. I well, have to. I don't know. I, I can't do it. <laughs> I'm just going to say stuff from time to time. Seeing when there you go. Us. Oh, that's how Oh, now they can hear us. Congratulations, Flory. <laughs> they still can't hear them. No, see, they can't hear us. Flory, the it's only chance I had is for you to fail. I, I knew that I can't do Moonster because I never practiced this. Dude, I got so lucky. You wouldn't even believe it. I had a five siege general. And also, what? Hesse became emperor. I, I was going to speed five into the last 20 minutes and then fight the war, but it, it, I got so lucky. I was like, oh, I'll just start the war. And then I almost lost because I started so much earlier. I don't, I, we don't I, have I, to can say they anything. hear us? We don't. Can, can you so, do yeah. like. Oh, they can hear us. Okay. Can Jeez. chat okay. them? Okay. Let's. Okay. Oh, well, oh, okay. Hi. Hello. Uh, so <laughs> it seems like we had some technical issues. I guess so. Luckily, uh, Slavic and Flurry. Uh, We're having their own conversation. Yeah, which is <laughs> at, telling us much more things uh, than we could have ours. Let's see if it works this time. Uh, Flurry, Slavic, can you guys hear us? Yeah. Yes. Oh, Excellent. congratulations, Flurry. Thank you. And Two time <laughs> Masters of Universalis winner. How does it feel? Ah, it feels amazing. Feels good. I, uh, I, I, I think it's that. Yes. Uh, Epic. Al also, thank you so much uh, for uh, actually explaining a few things while we had some technical issues. Because honestly, that was some of uh, the things we were worrying about. Uh, it took you. D how long did you expect it to take to go from monsters to dismantling? Did you? Did it go quicker? Were you unsure that it was even going to happen? Because you seemed like. Once again, you were pretty pleased with the RNG that you got early. 
it, 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 I was stun locked. It was so it was so crazy that I was contemplating restarting because I was like, I'm not gonna let Hesh take my. <laughs> I was like, no, this is too much. But I, I did, you yeah, know. Anyway, uh, I, I was expecting it to take much longer in game time, so I was gonna speed four until tech six. But then Hesse became emperor, and I was just like, I, I, I have to go for it now. I, I'm just gonna go. And then I kind of underestimated how annoying twenty princes are to fight against. So I almost, I almost, oh man, I was been bankrupt too. It was oof, very, very nasty. <laughs> Well, Slavic, you, uh, how many uh, runs, uh, or rather, I, I lost my train of thought. I, I was going to talk about how this was another one, unfortunately, for you when it came to the RNG that you hadn't practiced as much. Um, how did you, based on your practice, how did you feel you did? Not thinking of the monster achievement there. I think I, pra I practiced uh, Saxon and Brook for 30 minutes yesterday, and I do it per did it perfectly today for like, I managed to dismantle each other 20 minutes. So mm -hmm. I'm happy with the results. And as I was talking to Flora earlier, the only chance I had here to win is to Flora to fail. Yeah. And I, I mean, realistically, I think that was, uh, for the most part, I think our, our casters agree as well. That, that was like, that was the solid strategy. Someone is, someone's yeah. going for a really difficult run Let's get a good run in and have have them fail. Uh, and it was close. Let's just let's say it was it was close. Um, they thought that it was going to come down to the last couple minutes. So, and, I mean, Slavic did a very very good job. Slavic is now in the exclusive club that only he and Venomite inhabits. Meaning, true, yes, true. they beat yes, the player that true. challenge. That is true. Uh, but um, it's. Super happy that it came down and it was as close as it was in a grand final. That's what I want to see, as has been mentioned before. Uh, Flurry, uh, we're going to send this one to you uh, later this week so you can add it to uh, to your collection uh, of, awesome. <laughs> of other trophies. And then we'll probably uh, be in contact about future EU4 stuff that I, I can't reveal quite yet. Uh, we hope to see you again. Both of in you. The uh, yes. It has been it's a pleasure. amazing and a privilege uh, to watch you play EU4 for, for six weeks in a row. Uh, there's been ups and downs. There's been RNG. There's been even more RNG. And sometimes there <laughs> haven't been much RNG, but really solid strategy. Yes, thank you to you both. Wow, yeah. what a nice rhyme. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks Thanks for to having you us. both. And uh, congratulations, we'll Flurry. Well deserved. Thank you. Thank you. Very well Good played. Night. Good night. So, hopefully, we and have our, our casters. casters back. Oh, we're going to miss back. you. Who are we going to pick on now? I, I mean, <laughs> broadcast team? No, they make us look good. That would work. <laughs> uh, so I, I, I mean, I, uh, I just wanted to bring you guys back so we can have a quick final reminisce uh, of of the season. Uh, this one slightly longer, more players, uh, so more games uh, each week. How's it been for you? As you mentioned, it's season three. We've we've progressed. Yeah, but, Leith. I mean, you've been yeah. here since season one, really. How's, I've been here how's since been season for you? one. Yeah, I'm a veteran. It's been an absolute pleasure. It's been uh, it's been a lot of fun. I think each of the matchups uh, were all uh, entertaining to watch, um, even if they weren't uh, competitive. Sometimes it was still great to see uh, different strategies unfold. Uh, you had little storylines develop uh, over the entire thing. For example, Blobber going ahead of going bankrupt in every game and really pushing his uh, country to the limit. You had upsets like Venomite beating uh, uh, beating uh, Flory and you didn't really know what's happening next. So yeah, very excited to see how far we've come. Yeah. And Radhawk, have, uh, have you, how have you uh, been this entire, I guess, two seasons? You've been here for with us since last season. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, what else can I say that Leith hasn't already said? Uh, it's nice to see, you know, the whole thing grow, whether it's in, uh, you know, audience terms or, you know, people that know about it or stuff like that or in production value. So it's been super nice. I have enjoyed this longer season quite a lot. I do think it's more, you know, well structured like this. Yeah. Lots of duels between everyone else. And uh, pretty much every game has been fun so far. I can't say that I haven't had fun or it's been a mid game or whatever. Uh, not you yeah, know depending no, I, on the matchups or whatever super uh, nice to pat ourselves on the back um <laughs> i think i think this season i think i think the format uh with six competitors three duels a week it hits the sweet spot yeah, it's it it's a lot yeah. but it's it it's not too too much i think if we try to go 
with even more players, it'd be it'd probably be a lot yeah. more viewer fatigue, and you like you wouldn't necessarily get all of the you wouldn't be able to focus on enough duels uh, a week. So I'm super happy with that. I'm also super happy uh, with the feedback we've uh, gotten uh, from the community. I think my favorite moments in general outside of games have been. Uh, the times when uh, Red Hawk's laptop has lost power <laughs> and they no longer have control over the stream. Oh, no! Uh, <laughs> that this was is, one. <laughs> it's one of the things uh, behind the scenes that people uh, might not necessarily know uh, from starting out, but it's Anchor <laughs> Casters that control all of the POVs. Uh, which was new. Yeah, that yes. was and that was new uh, for the season, which good. was which was actually, I, I enjoyed that, honestly, letting them kind of have the control over it. I think that it was a little bit easier. It, uh, yes, yeah, we got sure. uh, we got less. Uh, uh, well, <laughs> we are going to go ahead and let you both go. Thank you so much, and it has been a joy working with both of you. It's been Thanks a lot of fun. Thank pleasure. you all for watching. Thanks for having us. Yeah, see you next Good season. Good night, chat. Bye, awesome. guys. Bye, bye. See ya. So we are almost done. Almost. Uh, we have we have a few things left, so don't go yet because uh, we have some exciting things to announce. Stick uh, around. Of course, uh, Speed 5 is the way we work is we produce a season of a show. Then we take a break from that show for a few weeks, a month. Uh, we try another show, maybe in the same game, or, or we try different stuff. Uh, we've been running Save the Save on Wednesdays. That ended uh, last week. We got a lot of uh, feedback on that. So thanks so much. If you're interested in more Vicky Through Course, let us know on the Discord. There's a link down below. Um, do you want to go? I do. So next Wednesday, the 22nd, yes. Yes. The 22nd Wednesday at 1800 CET, we do have another Crusader Kings 3 show that is mm -hmm. going to be called Feudal Lords. And I don't think that will reveal exactly what that is. I think we'll save that. Yeah. But we do have our casters. So it's going to be Midgeman and Ignomatic Rose will be our casters, which Super, super excited about mm -hmm. it. I cannot wait. And then we have our players. A uh, couple of returning ones. Yep. Old Man More Dave, Spartini Martini, Ghibli Jam. And then we have uh, Traxium actually coming back. We haven't seen him since the first, second season? Second, second season, season of Masters. Season of Masters. And then Bear League Tactical mm -hmm. is coming to... Uh, is coming to the channel. So we do have that next Wednesday. Please come. It's going to be a great time. I am super excited yes. to see what happens with us. And of course, join our Discord and uh, we have updates. If you're a sub, you know, we have our special channels in there. And we actually did just do a little bit, you know, with our mascot. Yes. Our subs actually got to vote and name our mascot. So, uh, and that's, uh, and I uh, scared the bejeebers out of uh, Lady Magnus earlier today because I posted a poll to our uh, subscribers <laughs> asking like, them but <laughs> when uh, when they want the super secret uh, stream to happen no uh, so hopefully me and Count Christo will host a uh, stage on discord either uh, later this week or or next week where we go through a lot of the challenges that uh, players have suggested on our discord and you'll also uh, get information about what the next EU4 show is going to be. Because be this, this format is coming back. Don't worry, we're not going to do anything with it. But I have grander plans. So the next EU4 show that's happening in a few weeks' uh, time. I, we need to do some play tests and stuff like that first. It's probably uh, a month and or And make away. sure... Yeah. But um, if you're wanting yes. to do these, you're going on to Discord and playing some of our challenges because we do pick viewers. Yeah, you need to be. You need to we make do. sure that Lady Mag. I do see you guys out there. I, I see you. <laughs> see them. So uh, make sure that you're in our Discord. Yes. And uh, we will see everybody next Wednesday, 1800 CET, for some Crusader Kings. Yes. Be Beetle here. Lords. Be Bye, here. guys.